One of the first things we do when we begin to talk to a client about building in a timber building is explain to them how fast, how accurate this process is. So what we're drawing on the CAD program, those files are going directly to the factory. Those files are, are actually making up the files to cut the timber panels with. So what arrives on site is millimetre perfect. You know, these things arrive on site on the back of a truck, they're craned into position, they go up in days rather than months. So the nine-storey building that we did, that went up in 27 days. Three guys with cordless screwdrivers and a crane driver. What we draw and what's delivered on site are the same thing. Now that's fantastic, we can, have, we can be sending off uh, orders for window manufacturers while we're still on the drawing board because we know to the millimetre how big our window openings are going to be. We know exactly how big the building that we're going to build is going to be. So the accuracy of the material can actually help in all the other follow-on trades as well. So one of the major advantages with getting a watertight building up so quickly is you can get all the follow-on trades can start coming in within days from the timber arriving on site. So once you're building your second floor, you can actually begin to get plaster, begin to get uh, carpenters, uh, first fixed trades into the first floor, actually beginning their work while the timber's still going up on the floors above. One of the best things about working in timber as well is that actually you can build at any time of the year. With concrete, you're always waiting, it depends on the temperature, you know, you can't build, you can't, uh, you can't pour concrete when it's too cold, you can't pour concrete when it's raining terribly, all these kind of things. Actually, with timber, you can put timber up any time of the year. And you're not waiting for the material to cure or for it to go off. Actually, you're building and you keep on building. Because of the accuracy of the building material, the air tightness is fantastic. So we're getting near passive house standards without even trying. The environmental aspect of building in timber is a very important issue to lots of our clients. The idea that actually you're building with a material that's replenishable, that you're building with a material that stores carbon within the actual, you know, within the sort of the body of the material is incredibly important to a lot of people. So this isn't just a tick box exercise when you're building in timber. This is actually a natural material. You're not quarrying for something, you're not smelting something. Yeah, a client might come to us with a complicated requirement in terms of foundations. We have a job at the moment where we have a building over the Eurostar tunnel and actually building a building which is a quarter of the weight that it would be if it was a concrete building is a fantastic solution to that problem because it reduces the foundations, reduces the slab depth. One of the things that you have very frequently with, especially with large construction sites, is massive amounts of site waste. When you're building with timber because the panels, the, the timber is arriving perfectly and accurately on site, you're not cutting bits up, so you've got no site waste. You have no endless lorries with skips in, toing and froing from site. On a very tight urban site, timber is a great solution as well because it's so quiet. There's no grinders, there's no cement mixers, there's no jackhammers, no drills. Actually, what you're dealing with is cordless screwdrivers and a very quiet site. So we've had sites within eight meters of people's living rooms and we've had no complaints during the whole construction process. So when we built Murray Grove, we had three trucks arrive on a Tuesday, another two on a Wednesday, another couple on a Thursday, and then on Friday they were finished. You also have a fantastic living environment, a fantastic environment to work in. The humidity levels, the acoustics. If there's a discussion with a client about whether to build in timber, often, for us, it's that argument which is really, that final argument which has just tipped the balance.